Hello guys, in today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to creating legend views. So we're gonna start with creating a views for a wall or a window or the door, and I'm gonna go to the annotation tab and I'm gonna show you how to add annotation and the text to your legends. So the great thing about the legends, you can create them once and then apply them to every single sheet that you want. And if you make a change to one of them, all of the sheets that contain that legend view, it's gonna get updated. Let's jump into Revit so I can show you how I am creating my legend views. For legend first location, we wanna see, we can get it from the project browser. Also, you can go to the view tab. You can click on legend and you can basically select it from here. So let's just click, um, start with the wall legend you can change the scale to any scale that you want for now let's stick to one eighth it's going to open up another window there is a, a quick note you can see it under the legends also everything is going to be available under the annotation especially the legend component only is available in the legend view so if i go to a different view legend component is grayed out so it's not accessible so you need to be in that window in order to have it. So you guys can see all the architectural tab and everything is sort of grayed out. Let's go back to component, legend component. Um, the families are here. These are the family coming from the Revit template. So basically you can start your legend even without starting your project. Uh, for now, basically doing the wall for now. Uh, we're gonna put the wall over here. The view is gonna change depends on what family you pick. So right now we're gonna use a uh, wall. I'm gonna do one of them for floor plan and the next one I'm gonna change it to the section. Um, also, you can go down over here. You can change it to a shaded and also fine. So it's gonna see the layers. If the walls are thick, you can kind of turn on the thin line so you can kind of be able to see the thin lines. Um, I'm going to use the detail line to quickly create a very quick um, window or, or very quick table. Um, so everything, um, so you guys will be able to see how quickly you can create this to basically please your items. A quick note over here is you can add the legend views to as many sheets as you want. And when you update one legend, all the sheets that contain that view legend is going to get updated. So this is a very, very great um, attribute that you can utilize to updating your details and your sheets. Um, and then right now, as you can see, I'm just going to go to annotation, adding some text uh, to the table that I created. I'm basically showing that this is going to be uh, my uh, plan view or the floor view and the one next to it is going to be the section and um, you can kind of select all of these annotations uh, by edit type and basically create the annotation that you want and you want to use and a quick note here when you click on a text the move tool is going to show up on the corner uh, and you can kind of grab it and move it to the side. You can also add any dimension that you want to this um, and you can basically go from there. Let's just create another one. So this is the wall legend. Everything is going to be under this one. That's going to show um, um, the, all the details that we want for the wall legend. If you want to go to the legend, add a new one, you need to name it. Let's just do window. It's going to open up another tab for the view window legend if you have like a different scale different items it's going to be the same process basically you're going to have um we did the walls let's just go down pick it just the window it's going to be easy but the reason that i'm doing this i want to show you that under the view you have a different option here so as we mentioned that's going to be a different option based on the family and everything that you pick and right here for the host, if you click on it, you can see, let me just change this one to like 10 feet. It's basically making that wall in the middle smaller. So that's kind of telling you uh, what is the host that these family attached to. And this is gonna be a great way for you to update the sheet and adding details to one legend. It's gonna be updated in all the sheets. Thank you guys for watching today's episode in learning 
legend views. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and let me know if you are using a different way to create your legend views. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.